Hey, how's it going out there, sports fans? Um, today, I want to dedicate this blog to my favorite NBA player, or shall I say favorite former NBA player, due to the fact he had to do his good writings because of an injury he was fighting for some while. And that player is Canadian's own Steve Nash. Now, Steve Nash wasn't your typical point guard. Steve Nash was your all around um, swift, um, privy man. So many words to describe Steve Nash's character. Um, can't even measure, you know, the altitude that he had on the game. Um, and now Steve Nash was one of the players I will watch on TV um, after being a couch potato, you know, for some while because, you know, basketball is a hobby of mine, you know, that I used to, you know, um, still to this day, but not as much because of his absence in the game. Um, I used to watch Steve Nash after being a couch potato for some weeks, and he would his impact, his 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 way of playing will make me get off that couch and go out there and play some basketball to to mimic everything he does, man. Now Steve Nash was, I initially became. A fan of Steve Nash back in 2005 when he made his, his return to the Phoenix Suns. You know, after you know, after being drafted to the Phoenix Suns, he made a return back to the to them in 2005. And reason being, I then I wasn't a big fan of him prior to is because um, when he's with when he was with Mavericks, he was more of a shooter, you know. Um, you know, not not saying that's a bad thing or anything, but um, I liked it him better when he was with Phoenix, and he was one of the point guards when he when he came to Phoenix. Um, his whole notion was pass first, shoot shoot second type of type of. Uh, mentalities you know um he made everyone around him better man uh, he made your your uh subpar um players you know way much better and way much um gave them way much finesse you know just by um being in uh, in sync with Steve Nash, man, he was just one of them. Man, he would he would do a pass. He would he would he would he knows uh, a play is about to happen before it even happened. So when he throws you a pass, just know that is is leading on to a, a score. It's 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 inevitable is no way around uh not scoring with with steve off of i at off of a result of steve nash's passes man steve nash was so precise with his passes man you know um it kind of you know uh came from him playing soccer in his previous years or younger years, and he kind of transitioned some of that same footwork he had with soccer over to the NBA, and that's why his agility level was, you know, um, it, 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 it exceeded um, above your average, you know, player out there. He was, man, he, he could, that's why you see him in the game for, you know, 35 minutes, you know, I mean, that's why you see him in the game for like 45 minutes, you know, out of, out of the 48 minutes. That's because Nash 
was one of them players that can endure, you know, um, a whole game, you know, without really getting tired is because, you know, he, he was a, a, a former soccer player, you know. But, um, man, when Nash left, you know, became a free agent after the Suns, um, he chose the Lakers. And when I heard that, man, um, I kind of didn't like that decision because I'm one of them fans out there that loves going for the underdogs, you know, and I kind of thought, you know, Phoenix was underdogs, you know, because, you know, they they always will sneak in the playoffs, you know, and, and, and the commentators were doubt them, you know. But, um, yeah, when he left to go to Lakers, um, I, I didn't like that, you know. So what I did, I stayed a fan of Phoenix Suns because, um, you know, they were they they really became underdogs then. But I stayed with um, Phoenix, you know, just because the whole atmosphere over there. Man, Nash, even, you know, after Nash left, he left a huge impact over there um, that um, they were all still playing the same, you know, with the same momentum. You know, that's that's how much of a big impact Steve Nash had over there, um, you know. Um, and then... Uh, when he got with Lakers, he he could never stay healthy at all. You know, he would play a few games, uh, and then you won't see him no more after that for the whole season. So you know that 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 cue right there, that was a huge hint right there that he he was um, in the near future about to. Uh, something was going to happen to where uh, it was going to, you know, ruin his career. You can tell. So, um, man, he was really trying to fight that injury, you know, and I, I was anticipating his, his um, comeback to the NBA, you know, even the, even despite the fact I, I, I wasn't a Lakers fan, I still like to see Steve Nash in the court doing his thing, you know, and studying him. But um, uh, because when he when he made his retirement, it kind of caught me off guard. Um, I did not know that he had uh, retired until, you know, I seen um, ESPN one morning and said that he. Um, he retired due to his injury, which he was trying to fight so hard, man. Um, I was, man, it, it kind of, man, it kind of took a, a toll on me, man. Um, you know, but um, yeah, Steve Nash would definitely be missed, man. Um, there's a huge void in this NBA now. Uh, you know, I hope, hopefully, up and coming, there could be a next C Nash out there somewhere, man. But uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for all your contribution to the NBA, Steve. You will be missed. Thanks.